Okay, hello there everyone, welcome back to To The Moon. Last time we left off, we managed to get up to uh, about one-fourth, say, of Johnny, or John, yeah, is it John or Johnny? I guess it's both. Johnny's life, and now we're going to cut back right in. So, hasn't it? I think this was talking about just the meeting and how they had got back to or seeing their friends and things like that. Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river, still so quiet, huh? Eh? Actually, she's been talkative at home and with Isabel. I guess she's just not used to you. <laughs> so I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey. So did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something's bugging me. Ever since the incident, she's been making those strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yes, lots of them. <laughs> I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but make the same rabbit day in and day out. Our, our house is literally filled with them right now. Didn't Isabel say that something like that is a common trait with River's condition? Condition? Hmm. Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gives me this distant look in her eyes. It's almost as if she wants something from me. And the strange thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes, she says she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get worked up. Usually, when someone says that, something's always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. Wait, so even he himself never knew what was up with those rabbits? Forget about the stupid rabbits, we've got a bigger problem. It's a confined memory, and there's no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I'm just going to make a quick visit to the bartender. Give a quick the bartender a quick visit. Okay, but I want to check something else out first. No, oh, okay, I can't. Never mind. Hey there. Could I get you anything? Hey yo. Could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure. Cash or credit? Check. Uh, I'm sorry, we don't check. Take checks. Oh, just put it on my tab then. Wait, does that mean you don't have any money? You're so getting resetted. Hey there, can I get you anything? Hey, oh, could I have a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Just put it on my tab. 
feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickle olives. Thanks, bro. You'll be getting an extraordinary amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. Oh, loosen up. No, nope, that's nothing. I want to quickly check something. Ah, oh, I can't. Okay. Because they went off into the back. And I want to see. Why? Is that a bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah. Are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. Just got myself a fresh bottle of them, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure. Why not grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Oh, yeah. That sounds just swell. Eva. Disable taste simulation now. Oh, Neo. I don't think I. <laughs> oh, Neo. I don't think I feel like it. <laughs> I'm going to get you back for this. <laughs> you okay there? Yeah, I'm just savouring the amazingness of pickled olives. <laughs> They're wonderful, aren't they? <laughs> oh, you... What's got yourself in it? You dubbed yourself in this time. Because you should have told the plan and disabled the functions before you started having your social gathering. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually having it right here. Why? May I see it? Eh? Okay. Here it is. And freeze! Finally! Dear Lord! How are those others, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See? I'm doing it by the book. Hog smash! Neil, seriously? I'm trying to get into this. But you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. Preparing the memento again. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Uh, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Um, Yeah, I bulged this up already. Um, oops. There we go. Activate memento. That was the deed, wasn't it? Oh. Oh. This is different. The lighthouse? So. Hmm. Why are we panning to the. Oh. Crikey, crack. <laughs> Nutcrackers. <laughs> you aren't Australian. Who cares? Like two billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump, it's not like it can hurt you here. Are you kidding? It's a freaking skydive. You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate when this happens. I swear to. It... Ava, what the. <laughs> Wuss. 
<laughs> oh dear. So Neil's afraid of heights. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is. Now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, river. This place means a lot to me too. And I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well in a few years, we'll be able to afford to build a house on the top of here. It's going to be a squeeze. We'll be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always been nearby and and we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You've got to be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than the moments leading up to it. The important thing is, over here, they are happy. Let's move on. Can I just quickly... No, I can't. Gonna take a guess and say we're going over to the house and wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Annie, weren't they? Suppose so. Then that river declined her treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of this job. Me too, but ugh. I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not a client. So Annie, is, or yeah, Anna, Annie, and Anna, uh, Annie. I just could call her Annie. Annie is a lighthouse, it seems, which is quite interesting. Let's just oh, and they pass for us. Never mind. Show me a figment of imagination that does not currently exist. And we need to find a mentor. Oh, what's that? A ra paper rabbit out here? Littering much? Hmm. Oh well, whatever. So we figured out at least that. Annie is a lighthouse. Uh, shit. I need to turn this one off to get all of them. That one, that one, to get that one. But then. Oh, that wasn't too bad actually. Guess eventually clicking will get you through these things. So we'll travel down this memento. Another paper rabbit. <laughs> Thank god we didn't travel too late. River? Oh, this is before that house, isn't it? That was weird. Neil, don't suddenly jump inside me like that. A yellow paper rabbit. Dear Lord, not again. <laughs> Nothing there. No books. Hmm. Oh. 
Oh, a piano. No, no, no. Down, down the stairs. Down the stairs. Down. No, 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 no. Bring me down the stairs. Thank you. Piano. An old baby grand piano. How the heck does one... How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows? But I bet it'd be a piece of cake for a TARDIS. Not really. Can't even get it through the, its doors. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the ass for everyone. It probably takes an entire episode to get inside one. To get, to get it inside. God. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. Sounds pretty epic. <laughs> Those Doctor Who aficionados will love that episode. New boxes of paper. Uh oh. I think I know where this is going. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. It's going there. You went out for a haircut this, this earlier this morning. I didn't say that sentence right, I'm sorry. Grammar, me, no, speak. What are you making there? Rabbits? Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy? <laughs> and? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. Oh, that's not a good answer. You're right in Strange River. Is something wrong? River? Oh no, now you're going down it. But what is up with the rabbits? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverted deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd for that. You think she's... do you? Perhaps, who knows. But like you said, she's not a client. Let's just... Yeah. Let's just get what we paid for over with. Many long strands of orange hair. Oh, she... Why is hair there? Didn't she go out this morning for a haircut? Oh, there's where our mementos need to be. So we need to quickly... So this is the day she started it. Huh. Okay, there we go. Prepare the memento. Yeah, so this is quite a rough ride, all things considered. Let's do that one and that one. Do that. And uh, no, I've pretty much bullshit it up again, haven't I? Yeah. The ideal was free. Alright. Why did that click that one? Yeah. There we go. Oh well. Whatever. So, 